Hey, what's up everybody? Today, I wanna to give you a hack for the hips. Uh, this particular stretch is called the frog rockers. This is something that is gonna open up those hips in that groin area and has a lot of return on your investment with this stretch. Uh, help alle helping alleviate low back tightness, helping with knee health, uh, posture, if, uh, if you're doing a squat or a deadlift session, this is a great little primer, little stretch to get you into position and to start opening up those, those hips so you can get into a good position in that bottom of your squat. Um, so this is something also, guys, that I was having a discussion with one of my old coach buddies from the Colorado Rockies, and he was talking about how hip mobility has been absolutely key for them in reducing low back and hamstring injuries. No surprise to me. I've been using this exact stretch that I'm about to show you with all the athletes I've ever worked with. And anyone, if you work with me, you've probably done this stretch. Okay, so uh, let's get into it. Uh, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna get your hands directly under your shoulders just like this. Next, we're going to spread our knees out, getting into a wide stance. And, and I want you guys to get to a position that you feel comfortable, okay? If there's pain, you've gone too far. If there's discomfort, that's okay. We wanna learn how to breathe into that discomfort. Uh, but just make sure that you know the difference between the two. And what we wanna do here is we wanna make sure our shins are going straight back, toes straight out, just like that. Um, from here, a key piece is gonna be understanding our back position. So uh, what I want you to do is I want you to sink, okay? This is called uh, anterior tilt are also known as AKA uh, basic insta bitch pose, sticking that ass out. But basically what you're doing here is sticking the butt out, getting to that anterior tilt, and then posterior tilt, or just like you're getting kicked in the stomach right there. And you wanna kinda go to both those positions and then find something in between, which is known as neutral. Neutral is where we want to be as we push back into this stretch. Okay, so we're gonna push back in that neutral spine position, and we're just gonna hang out. Maybe 10, 15 seconds, and we're gonna breathe. We're breathing the entire time. Breathing into that discomfort. Breathing into that stretch, and then we're gonna come out of it. And then we're gonna go back into it again. And one thing uh, that I've learned from really great yoga instructors is when you get into a position, find what feels good to you. Start getting that mind-muscle connection. Maybe it's rocking back and forth. Maybe it's pushing back at a little bit of an angle. It's up to you guys. You find a position that feels good for you. Uh, you can get into this for maybe three to five reps for 10 second counts. Um, you could even do this for just like a two to five minute period playing around with different positions in your hips. And I promise you guys, it's gonna help open up those hips which is key for longevity, especially as we get older. Uh, keeping our hips healthy means healthier back, healthier lower body as well, and uh, it's gonna help us thrive, which is what I want for all of you guys at home. So give this, shot, give this stretch a shot today, and uh, let me know what you think. All right.